next project's going to be um, cutting this mattress down to size to fit in our um, our little bedroom in the RV. I've done it before. That bed needs to be replaced now, and it saves you a lot of money to cut this down instead of having a special order size. This is a queen size mattress. It was just taken out, so it's still um, trying to expand. Expand. So come here, I'll show you what I mean um, in the fifth wheel. All right, come on up, Ed. Okay, this is just was our uh, regular queen size bed that we used to have in our house years ago. We've already had it out here for probably six years, if not more. And you can see if we left it the same length, it would come all the way to here. And we're not real tall people, so we decided, or I decided that I would go ahead and take some coils out myself and shorten the length of the queen. And it gave us a little walk around room. So we did find a mattress on sale here. Uh, it's a 12 inch with a pillow top. It's not top of the line. It's probably more like the middle. And it was on sale. It cost us $300. And that's what we're going to be working with today. I looked all over YouTube trying to find a video on how to do this. And I did find a, a man who did this he, for his boat. And I thought, okay, so it can be done. This does have foils in it. But anyway, so what I did last time, let's get this open. Is what I did last time uh, is I opened it up from in here to expose the coils. And then I started removing coils. Um, I'll show you that. Once I get this opened up, I know it's really like, oh, do I really want to, <laughs> it's a brand new mattress, but it needs to be done to make it just easier for us to get, a, for me to, especially for me to make the bed, but it just will make it so much better in there. So we're going to go ahead and do this one too. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it up from here or under but I'll get back to you because it's really getting hot it's supposed to be 92 today here and it's only in April so I'm gonna go pull my hair up okay on this mattress what I've decided to do is cut right underneath this overlay that way when I'm putting it back together I can use it to actually sew it back so all I'm doing is taking my scissors and cutting as close to that as I can get. And you can see right here, here's the, the first set of coils uh, that I will be removing. So that's what my plan is. Okay, now our other mattress wasn't like that, so each mattress is going to be a little different this one this foam is glued down in here so I have just been working with my hand to to get it loose so I can get I think we'll probably take two rolls of coils out I'll have to measure make sure probably won't go more than two but that's all I'm doing here is breaking the glue loose so I can get to these coils and these right here that's in my way <laughs> is some fascia boards that we're going to be replacing on our house I'm just going to work around those too Ooh, a lot of glue right here but like I said, each mattress will probably be a little different. This is, I think it's called a chime. It's made by Ashley Furniture. 
and they have different sizes this is a 12 inch they have a 10 inch you know you can go on up to 14 inch but anyway that looks good like i can get to them so what i'm going to do now is remove this back um do not remove the cover you know uh, little covers from the coils that you're not going to remove because you, you can see that it does allow them to come up and out so only the ones that you're going to be removing then you know that you're going to take out but this is what i will be removing coils so i can shorten the length and i will be getting back to you to show you once we get a coil more get some of this off okay this mattress is going to be a lot easier than the last mattress i did because i guess the only way i can explain it is the coils were entwined together where these coils just slide up and out um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is the corners have this foam corner. Well, this mattress did with these little hooks. You want to not tear this up too much because you're going to reuse this to put it on, you know, to make the corner again. So I just, I spread these little hooks open and then pull them out. Trying not to tear the foam up but I will show you how I'm taking these coils out in a minute but yeah this way you want to keep this you want to keep this piece because you are going to be using it again so you know but anyway these are coming out super easy not too big of a deal I have just been cutting a slice open so far <laughs> And, and then just pulling the spring out. Um, like I said, the other one I did, which was a little harder, each spring connected to the next one, I think with a little wire tie or something. Uh, it's been a while, but it was a little bit <coughs> difficult. This is absolutely a lot easier. Uh, they weren't in the little individual packages. No. break the glue away here from this set and do exactly the same thing uh, cutting them open and pulling the coils out uh, you can see that you're gonna have I don't know if I'll be bending that down over when I'm completely done so we'll see when I get to that point but I'm gonna start the same process by uh, breaking away the glue because that's what this is there's glue on here where they have glued these coil this this foam on or this actually covering on there but like i said do not you know get into the set of coils that you're not going to be removing you just only want to open up the coils that you're going to be taking out so you can see them here those are the only ones I will be removing the ones behind that I am going to not even mess with or uh, you don't want this popping don't up <laughs> okay okay wanted to show you something here the only thing that I broke away with the glue is this top part of the foam because it really isn't necessary to try to get this 
only on the first row it helps them. But on the second row, you can, you don't need to tear this all off because all I'm doing is opening, let me get this so you can see maybe better. I'm only opening up this down the side and pulling the spring out. That's, that's all you need to do. You know, but I thought I would clear that up because that's just extra work that doesn't need to be done. So you just expose the spring and pull it out. This right here, putting these on helps because this kept getting in the way. So this, if you put a couple clamps on uh, the top padding to hold it back, it's a lot of help. Okay, I have two rows of coils taken out, which left all of this. The second set of coils is, that I took out is back here. And to remove some of this, what you have to do on this mattress this is just glued, and I figured all I'm gonna do is pull, you can see, I don't know, I'm hoping you can see, pull it kind of loose. And then what I'm doing is taking my scissors and cutting this down this way. And if you can see, I'm not worried about taking this second roll of fabric where the coils were off. I do not want to disturb this next set of coils. So I thought this would be the safest way of doing it. And then I just go in there after I have this cut where I want it. I just go in there and then I cut it, you know, off. Leaving the, you know, this gray padding on there because I think what I'll do is end up pulling that up and rolling this foam down over it when I go to put it all back together but that I wanted to show you that just don't disturb that next set of coils all right I think what I've decided to do you can tell I need a new glue gun a bigger glue gun but I'm, I'm just going with the glue gun and so this will be tacked onto that and then what I plan on doing is bringing this up over it and gluing that I don't think I think the glue gun will be fine because eventually this is gonna all come back down and this up I'm going to sew it. So basically I'm doing this to keep this kind of all in place so I can work better with this. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like after it's glued. So we're ready to go on to the next step. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this memory foam off. You know, I thought about folding it down and then just bringing this down, but it adds too much bulk, makes the mattress a little longer. This is more memory foam padding on top, which I'll leave, but I will cut this off removing it and then I will be, you know, like bringing this down. I'm just gonna this is you know just just to help me get it in place because I will be sewing it I 
like I said, got to hold that cheap glue a little longer, and I didn't. But that's what I, this is folded under. I think it was like that anyway. Now, obviously, this isn't going to look you know factory like <laughs> factory when we're done but hey it's not really going to be seen uh, so this is just to get this in place i will be sewing the top part down over it Okay, when you get to the corner, all I'm going to do is just um, tuck that in as best I can. Because obviously you're going to have a lot of bulk because you removed all those coils. And I'm just going to put some hot glue in there for now. like this will be coming down over the top so I'm not too worried about like I said you're gonna have I will have a mattress cover over this and time you get the mattress cover over it and the fitted sheet you're, you're not even gonna see this anyway all right on this part of it what I'm doing is I have pulled what's left well didn't mean to do that Why? but I pulled what's left down really tight and to this, you probably have to have someone help you because you, you really need four hands. Um, but I am just going in and pinning it because of all oh, the head went through there. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin it all the way across. This was actually probably the hardest part. Pulling, that's why I had to have my husband and just help. Anyway, all I did is pulled everything that was left down and pinned it all the way across, just pulling it down. And I know that I had mentioned to save these, uh, which were on the these uh, foam, memory foam. Anyway, they were on the corners from when we first opened it up and I took them off. But this has so much padding by pulling what the padding was up and pulling this down that I didn't even put those back in. So if you was wondering, hey, whatever happened to those square foams, I didn't use them. You can go ahead and use them. Just remember to put them on before you pull everything together. What I am doing now is I'm using some polyester coat thread. It's a little heavier. You can probably get some uh a postery thread but this is what i used last time and it, it's it's still good and we've had it in our trailer six or seven years the mattress but i am using these actually this is not an ideal uh needle but i can't find my curved upholstery needle so and i don't really want to run to the store but we'll see how this goes. So I'm using this and pushing it in with the pliers because, you know, it is a pretty heavy duty needle. But I'm just, oh, getting caught on everything. I'm just stitching, you know, this part, catching the underneath part as I go. And working it in there this is why I'm using the pliers because this needle has got such a I don't know if you can see it it's got a really thick head on it and you need that there's a like a hook a bent half round needle that would probably be ideal for this I think that's what I used last time but you just go in <laughs> If this keeps doing such a problem, I might go get, oh, I think I'm running into the pen, a new one to work with. But 
I'm gonna continue to do this all the way down to the end. All right, we're nearing the end here. We took turns. So Ed is working on it now. Uh, make sure you double your thread too. Um, okay, we are finished. This is what it looks like when it's completely done. It was 79 inches long. And we took it down to 74 and a half, I believe. Now it is still expanding. It takes, uh, it's brand new. It takes a couple of days for it to completely expand. And of course, it's on this table and it's kind of letting the mattress sag a little bit. So we're gonna try to get this in the, the trailer pretty soon. Here is. Here's the springs, here's the coils we took out. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go inside and try to drag the old one out and put our new one in. We'll see how that goes. Okay, that was quite a task. But we got the old one out, getting ready to bring the new one in. Hopefully that goes better, but what I was saying earlier in the video is the, I think it's called All About RVs. He cut this part out and that way the, the mattress would push back in there further. Uh, he just said, be careful when you're raising up. But anyway, if you want to check that out, that's another way of you know, so you have more room to walk around your bed. Okay, geez, it's hot today too. It's mid 90s and it's hot in this trailer. All right, here it is. We got the old mattress out and we got this one in and then this was easier to bring in than getting the old one out. Huh. But anyway, here we go. This is, we have, you know, a walk path around this now. Uh, that's what it looks like. This will take another day and a half, and I believe it will get, it's gonna get maybe another inch taller or so, cause it's a, we bought a 12 inch. And another thing to watch for when you're buying a mattress, uh, you can see how the wall, I don't know, I'm gonna try, you know, slants up. So we didn't go anything taller than this because the more that the mattress would have to come this way. So the, the, the depth of it in here, like even if we would have bought the 10 inch, we could have probably gone back just a little bit more, but this one being, I think our other one's around 14 inches. So this one actually slid in and back a little further. So here we go. That's what it looks like. I hope this helps somebody out that, you know, is considering doing it or wants a little bit more room to get around because those little foam mattresses that RVs come with are just not comfortable. This mattress weighs 100 pounds. Okay. But here we are. That's what it turned out like. We hope this helped you if you're looking to do a project like this. And we want to thank you for watching. This is Debbie and Ed with I'd Rather Be Camping. Hope we catch you again on the next video.